The Magic Show is brought to you by StarCityGames.com, and check this out. On May 14th and 15th, the StarCityGames.com Open Series comes to Orlando, and this event is going to be huge. We're talking hundreds of players, over $14,000 in cash prizes, at least 18 players qualified for their choice of either StarCityGames.com Invitationals. Live coverage all day, courtesy of SCG Live. Tons of side events and as much Magic the Gatherings we can pack into one weekend. So make plans to join StarCityGames.com in Orlando, and we'll see you there. Welcome back, everybody, to our new Phyrexia set review. I'm here with Brad Nelson, one and only player of the year. Hello. He's the best. And we are going to talk today about our green cards. And uh, first up is the absolute metagame rocker, Beast Within. Within. Oh, my God. This card's all day. This card is like, I, I love it. Like, <sighs> Did they just print the story target permanent? In on green? A, on an instant? Really? I mean, I, I don't, the instant's cool. It's a green card. <laughs> And you get to kill whatever you need. Like Maelstrom, Pulse, it like does things Maelstrom Pulse doesn't even Maelstrom Pulse doesn't even do. It's incredible. Like, I mean, kills the Colonnade, kills the Gideon, whatever's in your way. You just get get rid of it. They get a three three. That kind of sucks. So that that's where that's where all this like hype. We have to come down a little. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. put it in an aggro deck. But like, if you're like this mid range kind of controlling, like this card does it all. I'm pretty sure I would put this in an aggro deck because when I was playing. Uh, against the control decks, I would lose to Gideon. Like, I would just, like, you know, and I could hit Gideon for a lot, but they would have a bunch of blockers and stuff mm -hmm. in regard. And for me, it was just like, if I could just get rid of the Gideon, like, and they have a 3 3, whatever, get you. Like, at least I can swing for your face. Like, that was important. And I could squeeze through another couple points of damage. Mm -hmm. And, like, I just had so much trouble with that card. And I, I mean, the fact that you can kill their Bane Slayers and their Sun Titans and their lands and their Planeswalkers, I mean, it, and instant then, speed. Then you can then you can do it the other way. You can take one of your own lands away to get a three three at end of turn. Like exactly, just make a beast attack token and you know. Yeah, I mean it's uh, th this card. I mean, wow. Just yeah, no, get your set. You want to play? If you play green, if you play forests, you want to copy or you want to set of this card. I've already like ordered four of them, and I have never gotten a free <laughs> pre order ever. I've ordered cards on this set. First time I've ever pre ordered in my life. Wow. Yeah, I really like this set. Oh, it's unbelievable. Speaking of another amazing card, birthing pod. This card, I don't even. Wow, I don't know what you do with this card. Like, really? Well, no, I know, I know what I do with this card. I know the, the <laughs> I do imaginative it. stories, but this is the one card in the set that I've spent a lot of time like trying to figure out exactly what it does. Mm. So I think I figured it out. Like, I don't think you want to fill your deck with a bunch of like cute one ofs mm. because like then you draw them, then you can't bridge up. Because this card, you have to keep bridging. Yeah. So if you run out of if you run out of your one five drop, then you can't bridge four to five to six. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you you want to you know sort of like pot up. You know, X, Y, and Z, but I mean, as long as uh, basically uh, it feels like if you can just find a really good three drop because you got like your bird, you got your fauna shaman, then you kind of hop to Venge Vine, mm -hmm. and then you go up to like Bane Slayer and Titans lines. and Acidic Slimes and stuff. So, like, there's this three drop, this magical three drop that needs to sort of be in there, and as long as it can sort of do what you need it to do, I think you, this card is crazy good. I mean, I, I like the idea of doing something like birds in the birthing pod and then sack the birds to go get Mir Superion. Like, but then I want to sack that so I can keep growing. Yeah. Like, but so you don't want to sack at five, six. He's a five. Yeah. I mean, like, but do you really need to? Pack? Wouldn't you like rather sack a Venge Vine and then play a couple creatures and just get the Venge Vine back, like while getting back the Acidic Slime? But you've invested so much time into that Superior. Now I want to work on the Birthing Pod. Yeah. Like, come on. We want to tell a story of Birthing Pod. That's why I thought a lot about it. I want to tell a story. I want to like. You know, find a way to disrupt them on turn four, then disrupt them on turn five, then disrupt them on turn six. Sure. Be like, am I disrupting you next turn? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll just play this acidic slime and then go get another frost titan. You know, like, yay! <laughs> oh, acidic slime into titan is just awesome. Just yeah. awesome. And the fact that this can be played in any deck, not just necessarily a green one. I it's mean, pretty costly at that, though. You don't want to activate it too many times out of a green deck. Right. But if you have something really sweet to be doing, I guess I could. it could be argued. It's it's not the end of the world, but all I'm saying is that it's probably going to be in, like, a green, maybe blue or green, mm -hmm. blue, black. And you can, you know, you don't always need to use your green here. Oh, yeah. You can save it. Uh, Brutalizer Exarch is next. This card's neat. Um, cause should be really good and limited. You know, sort yeah, of worldly right. tutors and or gets rid of a non-creature problem, of an artifact of some sort. Equipment. Yeah, equipment, pommel magnet, like whatever. Yeah, it, it, it does its job. It's uh, okay, fine. We just we want right, to get right, to right, the next right, card. Oh my god! Like this is a card that when I first looked at it, I was like, eh, whatever, moving on. And then just BDM <laughs> randomly says, 
first turn Fauna Shaman. And yeah. then, like, my little Timmy juices were just like, oh my god, no, I can't like, believe it. And then I start thinking, like, you, you think about everything this card does. <laughs> oh my okay, god. like, let's just do the dream scenario. Turn okay. one Lotus Cobra, turn two Jace, shuffle away the Chancellor, go get him later to play. But then, like, it just goes further than that. Hey, like, if you would live the dream, I would have turned one Lotus Cobra. I would, you know, turn one Lotus Cobra for free because I got two chances. Two, two, two chances. <laughs> and then play the fetch land and then play, play the Jace. Ah! And then, like, you could even be, like, real with this card. You could just, like, Chancellor in a Stoneforge Mystic on turn one. <laughs> two Lotus Cobras. No lands out. Oh my god. <laughs> Chancellors explore. You feeling good about yourself? Like, that, 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 that. <laughs> what if you have four of them in your hand? And you play a Garouk, and you can't use his, his first ability. <laughs> the game the will not let you. Oh, I have to make a 3-3. Three, three. Like, and the best part is, like, even when you just play him, like, as a 6-7 reach is not the end of the world. Like, it's not a I mean, horrible thing. The, thing, thing the Titans. Vigilance and Reach are, like, the two, like, just, they, you know? Like, yeah, like, they go together really well. Like, you're just going to yeah. get you. Like, the, the fact that, basically, you know, you play the Fauna Shaman early, and you can just pitch it at the Fauna Shaman yeah. for something that you want. Or you know, something that sort of really matters. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the the joy of this card. I mean, wow, this, this and is and it go it's under the radar of of of, of Cobblade because if you can just get one turn earlier than them, oh yeah, you know they they're gonna have a really tough time dealing with those cards. And if you get one more turn of like you're on the draw, yeah, and you're under Mana Lake, you know, exactly. you get your Fauna Shaman under Mana Lake. A lot of times, you know, Cobblade would like to like if they're going first, they would always run out the Stoneforge and the Mortar Pod to kill mm -hmm. your Lotus Cobra. But this guy lets you just sort of skip over that and get ahead. Yeah, of well, them. not the Lotus Cobra Mortar Pod, but well, not uh, not that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that if you're oh yeah, if, if it's your first turn and you get to play that, and their second turn they play Stoneforge and Mortar Pod, you get to untap a Lotus Cobra yeah. and do something. And that's like that's a lot of well, the way the Lotus Cobra's deck Lotus Cobra decks would also get ahead of Cobblade was that you know they get to go first. Okay, so do we have to go to the next card or can we just talk about this for the next? Oh, minutes? totally. Let's talk about Chance with the Tangle and how awesome he is. Do, do we have to stop? Okay, we'll stop. Right, we'll, we'll stop. stop. Corrosive Gale is next. It's no chance for the Tangle. But it does kill a lot of creatures in the air without having to be a green card, and that's kind of cool. Except, wait, all the other colors fly. Seems kind of like, doesn't green always just want to be killing the flyers? Like, that's the color you want this in. That's green, why it's yeah. there. Green, green always, yeah. Green doesn't have these things, so we, they must hate them. But, you know, it is nice that, you know, your blue red deck has the ability to sweep the skies out of Kill its air. own flyers <laughs> when it needs to. Well, if they get flyer advantage or something, maybe. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Death Hood Cobra. That's, that's pretty, that's a neat little card. Neat little I, bear. I, I think it's just the, just, the way I like nice and organized cards, mm -hmm. but it's like color screen, color screen, color screen, two two, cute. Everything's the same. Everything um, works. It, it yeah. reads really well. It's yeah. pleasant, you know. Yeah, I like those abilities together. Being able to force something to die yeah. is always just a, a great ability, especially like your opponent plays like a consecrated Sphinx Unlimited. Well, your bear can take it down. Yeah, you know they still get value out of it because the card's insane, but like <laughs> it can just take down any big monster uh, for 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 no real sweat. So I like. Just it's like a seal of creature, you know. Yeah. Set it on the board. It doesn't have to do anything, and then, oh, now I have to pay my four mana and kill that. Yeah, and it's another one of those cards that has the tension of, do I pay this mana now? Do I tap out to where I can't use all of it, you know, mm -hmm. or do I tap out to where I can only use like one of the abilities that yep. are sort of pertinent? You know, that's really interesting. To me. Oh yeah, I mean, late game if you can get up to you know six six mana, you can kill two guys off. So yeah. So um, another rare that I like, which is fresh meat. Um, and this is a card that I'm not super duper excited about because I've sort of fallen into these traps before where mm -hmm. a card looks really good after they've wrecked your board. And you're like, okay, what if they wreck your board and you don't have it? And then you like you draw, draw it, it and you're like, uh, I feel so bad right now. So that's, the, that's where this card can hurt you. Yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I was like, why can't this be Color of the Claw? Why can't I search with it for Fauna Shaman? Because, no, if you, like, think of that wow. combo. Yeah. Wow. Your Fauna Shaman just sits on tab <laughs> waiting for them to day a judgment, and then you're like, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> and so this wow. not being able to tutor for it, I think, really hurts its, its power level. But, I mean, I can definitely see playing this in Limited, and you, you know, your opponent has a pump spell, and you know it, and you just get to level them so far, because you're like, you make a block that makes them use their pump spell that blows your board up <laughs> on purpose, and they're like, wow, you... You know, you're like, ah, you're such a dirt like, ah, I gotcha. <laughs> so up next is Gliss's score, aka Gliss's bad burrito combo. Um, <laughs> why, why is that? She looks like she's farting that guy to death. Oh, like, man. <laughs> and just and again, 
I, I'm not looking into anything. It's like, it's her butt. Why did they put her butt on a card? Did you tell me why? Could the you just on the like? Card? Could it actually be like she just like killed him and she doesn't really care? And she's just like gonna walk away? Or she kind of just really farted. That, I guess that could have been it. Glistener Elf is next. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this right is... when Scars came out. Yeah. We were, we were all at a GP and we we're all like went out to eat a bunch of magic guys, a couple R and D. Yeah. And we we're talking about if a one one for one was too powerful and in fact. Mm. You know, I personally wanted a two-two because I like to beat down. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, a two-two two infect yeah, for yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to. Explain. Jeez. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, you should not hire me. <laughs> I don't want to work formats or anything. Like, because I mean, you know, you remember in Paris, I was asking people like, what does it take for the aggro for the infect mm-hmm. deck to get there? And almost everyone said a one-drop infect creature. Almost yeah. everybody. Now, a lot of people said a one black, one one eight that creature. And I have to, I have one thing I have to say, because I remember watching that, because I love the magic show. <laughs> I'm on it. And uh, right now? Kibler just nailed that answer. You know, yeah. like, this guy's going to be good. Yeah. But, like, I I am scared that there's, like, a million palm spells out there. Mm. And, you know, like. It's one of those little things that's just going to get you out of nowhere. Yeah. You know? like, we, saw, we saw a sweet deck online last night that was uh, just killing with, like, a bunch of pump spells. <laughs> And Inkwell ne- Ink- Inkmoth Nexus. Inkmoth Nexus is a good agent class. Like, the only way yeah, that guy yeah, won And a game. bunch of pump spells. So, like, this guy just fits the theme. You know, you just run a couple, like, small green guys and just bash and pump a lot. Get I think that that could be good. It's cute. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice that that card sort of exists and they didn't make it rare or anything. It's just, yeah. like, it's just a 1-1 one, one effect. It'll be fine. Um, green Hill Trainee is, you know, sort of the Bloodshot, Bloodshot Trainee, trainee yeah. you know, uh, alternate. Which Except I think you is don't really kill things. Yeah, which makes it a lot like, worse. Wait, I have to pump this guy to pump that guy? I mean, it's going to be a great combat trick when once it's active, but it feels weird that you have to pump him to pump other guys. Yeah. Like, where you can't just kill. Right. The trainee was always like, well, I just got to pump him so I can kill that guy. Like, and then kill know. that guy, and then kill that guy, and then kill that guy. <laughs> nice dark still axe. But, like, you know, here here we have, again, you, you sort of know where they were going and why they made this card. I'm not arguing. I think this card will be good because you're going to pump more often in a green deck than anything else. Sure. And, like, think of the situation where, you know, you... Pump it with the new pump spell that we're com- we're getting to soon. Talk in a moment. But you just pump this, and then you give something else plus four, plus four instead of plus two, plus two. Exactly. And then you just gave your infect guy plus four, plus four, and yeah, you know that's that's that can be scary. Yeah, it could be very powerful in infect decks. But uh, it can be trumped by uh leeching bite. Yes, leeching bite. Now, Marrow, um, Mark Rosewater actually mentioned that this was the only card he really had a big problem with uh, in terms of the color pie. He had a big color pie problems with this card because it gives minus one, minus one, and a green card. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that that's a very rare, rare thing. Um, I, I guess that it was the white card making him lose life because that was a very rare thing. Yeah, that's do. that's really good. That's actually more of a color pie breaking for me than a minus one, minus one in green. Especially since we have Hornet's thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, and they've done things like on Yarrow Beasting or whatever in the past. Mm-hmm. But Leeching Bite, you know, it's it's a nice combat trick. It's going to blow some people oh, out. Oh, it's, 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 it's a, a very good combat trick. Like, you can get, like, my two four four for beats it. your five five type stuff, you know. Uh, it's that, or it's more like now when you attack in a green deck, mm-hmm. your opponents can't just trade because, like, in this format, there's a lot of like, well, I'm just going to put my three three in front of my your three three and put my two two in front of your two two, yep. and we're just going to trade boards. And I do that a lot in this format just to trade and get the attrition going. Well, you can't do that anymore um, because you make that block, and I'm like, well, if they have a pump, so they have to choose. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you get to wreck them two ways with this one yeah. card. I put this card in the graveyard, and you put those two in. What is that called? <laughs> <laughs> the old X for one. Now, Mall Splicer, seven mana, but you know you, you get, get two three, guys, three guys total. You yeah. know, two golems and this guy. I mean, obviously he's going to get killed by something silly. Um, you know, the Mall Splicer is, but regardless, you're going to get some value out of it. Yeah, I think I think he's fine. He's in this format. Almost just rather have a seven seven. Mm. There's a lot of ways to just deal with little tiny guys, and yeah. you know you don't want to throw like. Now we're basically just talking about limited at this point. Just yeah, just, sorry, just, this just is so clear because some people when ask me like when something is a common and costs seven mana, you only play it in limited. It's just the facts. Sorry, like, and if you were to play a seven mana common in constructed, they probably just did something wrong. Like they probably broke something accidentally. Yeah. Oops. Like you know we didn't mean to make that so powerful. But <laughs> regardless, um, uh, speaking of something that I think is constructed playable, Malara Silvok Outcast with Phyrexian on life. My favorite, actually, I saw yesterday on Twitter is when you play Black Sun Zenith, you wrath their board. Counters can't be placed on your creatures. 
Ooh. Yeah. I, I was love like, Matthews. I was like so sick. <laughs> do you want to do you want to know another way to do that? What's that? If you cast Contagion Engine, you only put native counters on their creatures. That, that so happens. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so I mean that that for me like was my favorite use. But in but extended, you know, you have any sack outlet and any persist creature and infinite life of the kitchen finks, infinite damage with murderous red cap. You know. Oh yeah. Oh man, we're gonna have those again. We're gonna have those we're gonna again. Have the hus the hus tricks are back. Mm-hmm. Good old persist. That persist, man. That mechanic oh, just man. comes back and haunts people. And now they have now they have like Green Sun Zenith and Fauna Shaman. Wow, Extended's Defining. gonna have some sweet decks actually. It's I know a lot of people don't like Extended, but I like it. That's I mean, going to be fun. I, I, I want to like Extended a whole lot. I really do. I actually, if you look at the format, I think it's very balanced and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I, I just like that that deck sort of exists now. You can just be like, oh. If they're oh, like, I mean, damage. They, I've been around with a lot of them, the Project X and things. Yeah. It is so much fun to go infinite with creatures. <laughs> with creatures. Not with, like, it's boring when you're like, oh, I'll play a lot of rituals and then draw a bunch of cards and kill you with all these storm cards. Yeah. No, like. When you're like trying to sometimes attack them with like a murderous red cap, but then the other game you just kill them. Yeah. Like it's like turn two Safi, attack you for two. This is awkward. <laughs> two turns later, you're like ah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, you know, from from what I've uh, you know sort of spoken to wizards about, they really like creature based combos where people mm-hmm. can people can sort of figure out why they lost versus stump- sometimes spell based combos. You're just like derp 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 and moving cards and doing stuff and, and mana the nice, storm counts yeah. and all this stuff. And it was just I don't like, even well, like that. Here's a dude, like, and I'm going to beat you with him until I get this other part, and then I'm going to kill you with him. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how this works. Like, and, that's really neat. And the worst is, you know, the storm count thing, especially when the guy asks his opponent that doesn't even know what's going on to keep track of storm. Just. Yeah, and that's just not cool. Creature combos. Yay. Okay. Mutagenic growth is awesome. Yeah. Is sweet. Like, I'd probably, like, probably the best limited trick maybe in the format. I mean, I don't know who is going to play around this card before they get destroyed yeah. by it. I don't know if you guys are old enough. I'm not even old enough for this, but I, I know it from Cube. But there's this card called Zombie Cutthroat in a more <laughs> format that you could pay five life and flip it up for free. Yep. And it was a 3-4. Big deal when it came to morphs. Yeah. This feels like that. You're tapped out, and you're tapped out with curving. You're not, like, suspiciously tapping out. You're just like, dude, dude, dude. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Like, you you Pro have Pro. to actually think about attacking into a guy that just like curved out like yeah. like should can I attack into him <laughs> I'm not sure like, what if he blows me out with this card you know wow. it's it's a scary card it, it is a very very powerful like, card like you're going to this is one of the cards that I think you're not going to use the uh, the Frexian mana more than just the green yeah but when you use it your opponent is just going to be like head against the table yeah I mean it's going to blow them out virtually every time like you know free pump spells will do to limited formats what free pump spells do which is warp them I still want how the thing about this card that I want to level people with Mm. is keeping the force untapped and casting this with Frexian you're like do I I got the withstand death you know so good then they're Um, really thinking you know they're like why did you do that I don't understand (laughs) like yeah they just go completely on tilt that's brilliant Uh, Michael C Michael C Michael Synth Fiend is Marrow's favorite card of the set, he said. The the interesting push pull of damage they get. It may be his favorite design or of the set uh, is a well, it, it, it's, that, a, but it's a beautifully designed card. It's so neat. You just just like yeah. your mind goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I, I think the first thing a lot of people say is, uh, why doesn't it have infect? And you're All like, right. You're, go ahead. I, I this is this is an important announcement. Important <laughs> announcement. When playing limited with this card next weekend if you're pointed, if you are going to get a poison counter from damage, but you're trying to kill this, it will grow before the damage gets dealt. Mm. That's something important to know. You just don't, don't be careful getting blown out by this card yeah. in terms of how the poison counter is actually applied. Uh, Noxious revival is pretty obnoxious. Um, this could be the obnoxious revival because. The, the, the magic of this card is that it says any graveyard from a graveyard is what it says. Oh, I, oh, you need a top deck of card to kill me? Oh, <laughs> no, sorry. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no, you're gonna put that like nice sack land. <laughs> yeah, ni- nice fetch. Go. Yeah. Like, then th- that that for me it seems to be the power of this one. Obviously, I'm sure a combo deck could well, use it. It's a free spell. I, I don't know. Like, I know that I've played free spells and done well with them in the past. It's a free reclaim. And yeah. I like free spells. Free spells are good. Yeah. 
Um, Phyrexian Swarm Lord is very expensive. What? Okay, so this this kind of card seems to me like a limited bomb. Yeah. There are cards that you won't see much constructed play. Yeah, we'll see constructed. But this card is a rare because they don't want you to be opening it that much and limited. Yeah, if this thing were uncommon, I mean, all you need is like, you know, three or four poison counters on them and then you Wait, get insane value. All you need is three? Well, all I you mean, need is one and you get insane value. You're getting a guy every turn? Wait, is it every... Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. it was when it enters the battlefield. Okay, no, cards. every upkeep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, this card's maybe not be as expensive as I thought it was because I thought it was just one time. Instead, you get it every turn. Wow. <laughs> well, obviously in limited, again, I don't think it's going to be a constructed card, but um, but in limited, I mean, this thing is a huge bomb. Yeah. Huge. Uh, Rotted Hystrix. Is uh, you mean Siege Mastodon. Yeah, Siege Mastodon in green. <laughs> they changed colors. Yay, look what they did there. Uh, <laughs> Spine Biter. You bite your spine, buddy. I'm I'm very scared of this card in limited. This card seems like it's going to just kill people out of nowhere. <laughs> you can you can pump him and just deal a bunch of damage. Like wow, board stall up. Okay, so infect the problem that infect has always had in the past is that the board stalls they lose. Yeah, like you it's get so hard to get through. Yep. But like this guy's just like meh. He just shrugs and he's like, "Is that eight guys? Okay, you're dead." <laughs> exactly. Like if you're at five poison and I have a pump spell and you can't kill him, then you just like you're going to die. Yeah, you're dead. Like it's just going to happen. Uh, Thundering Tanadon. This card is, seems really solid. Like in limited. Yeah, uh, he's in limited. Funny. In standard, no, ain't gonna happen. But in limited, like you know, a five four trampler for four mana and a couple. On turn three for take four life, I can yeah. see it. Late game, he's still just a big monster. Yeah, I mean, he's he probably fit right into the uh, the dinosaur decks, right? I mean, the dinosaur decks just need them because they don't have any other cards. So yeah, it's gonna fit the dinosaur <laughs> deck. Well, I mean, it's like their four. The problem the problem uh, with the problem with this dinosaur is he's an artifact, and the reason we call them dinosaurs is because they're not artifacts. Fair. The, a lot of the removal doesn't hit them. That's yeah. the big problem. Uh, but on the other side, like he is a big monster, and he will he will see play, especially mostly because if you want to be like trying to get things out fast. But I would much rather be casting all any of the other monsters of dinosaurs. So why did Wizards print another overrun in Uncommon? Uh, because, well, see, they like us hurting. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like to see us suffer. Yes, and when Overrun was out and everyone was arguing, it's okay. It's actually not that bad. Like, <laughs> it's, it's only one. It's only one pack. Yeah, and it's Uncommon. That's fair. Overrun was Uncommon three pack. Yeah, that's and it and it was pack. really bad. Like fair. And so I think plus one plus one in Tramplin Infect. Might not be the worst, but your overrun spells you do want to kill people. Yeah. And this one is actually like the weakest of all of them, I think. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't give quite as much pump, of course, but it, yeah. for me, it's like once you throw the infect word on there, I mean, all damage is essentially I mean, double, quote unquote, but you know, a couple of poison counters in, trying for the hordes. It, see, just because, only because it only gives plus one, plus one in trample mm -hmm. and sorcery. It's different than like plus one, plus three. Now, if this was instant, it'd be unreal. Um, being sorcery, I think you can do the correct blocks. Yeah. Um, and you can survive. And especially, like, I think this will blow people out when it's not, like, this looks like the kind of card that goes into the, like, really bad green-white deck you draft and you have, like, no way to kill people. And you're like, <laughs> like you, you just did it. You have, like, a Glenhawk and, like, seven artifacts total. And, and one Siege Mastodon thing. Yeah, and, and it's like, 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 how do I, I win? win? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This card lets me win. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Does it resolve? Thanks. Like, I can win games now. Uh, Viridian Betrayers is, I think, really cool. I, oh, yeah. This is, like, actually one of my favorite cards, like, one of my favorite designs because the way your head has to sort mm -hmm. of wrap around it. It is what you want it to be. When you're the yeah. aggro deck, for just dealing life damage. Well, think of how stupid this is if you just attack your opponent with it, and then your opponent's like, yeah, I'll take three, because I I think you're an effect. You're like, wound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Whee! I love that. Um, Viridian Harvest, you know, like, it's one of those, it's like, it's a bad card. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a bad card. I feel, I don't know if I can say this on camera, and that's not what you ever want to hear before you say something, but I feel like, Oh, Viridian Harvest is just like Fangir Marauder's poop. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have a common Fangir Marauder. Why do we have this card? It's, this is a card that exists just to make other cards look better. Like, bad cards need to exist. This card is bad. You should, like, I. this card is just, yeah. 
it's, it's, it exists. Move on. <laughs> Move on, Vital Splicer. Let's make a 3-3 three, three that you can now regenerate them. Like, the, the Splicer sort of deck, I think, will be really fun to draft. Making the golems, trying to find everything that makes a golem. You so know. you're you're gonna have like three picks of making this deck because they're all gonna get taken. Well, obviously the splicers, but I mean like in the other packs, trying to find things that make golems, the golem, oh, golem yeah. artisan and stuff like that. That's you know? true. Oh yeah, and I didn't really think about that. Yeah, you know, so there's there's a lot of other golems in the sets. They kind of you know seeded them out, and it's it's nice that you can sort of draft around them. Oh man, I don't three, think people will see that sometimes. I think people will miss that. Yeah. Uh, mm. Lastly, is uh, one of the most griefiest things ever. Uh, Boren Klex, Voice of Hunger, should be just called Nagel, Voice of Griefing. Uh, <laughs> seven six Trampler, you tap a land for mana, and it like you get the mana flare, and then when they tap a land, it doesn't untap next turn. Just like I'm awesome, sucks to be you. Like that's what all those augers are sort of meant to do. But this one, this one's pretty in your face. They, they do feel like these are just like the kind of cards that are coming out that are easy for players to get into Commander. Yeah. The new players. This is like the new player legendary creatures to get in. They're all these yeah. amazing cards that do these really interesting things <laughs> against new people. Like, you know, a kid that doesn't have a bunch of cards, he has, you know, oh, my opponents can't... It takes one more mana for them to play their spells all the time. Yeah, yeah I'll make that my general. Sure. This guy, this guy's annoying. <laughs> this guy's like, who stomper. wants to be on that guy's left, you know? Nice. Like, because you don't want to be the one to have to kill the general. You want somebody else to have to kill it. Right. His and commander he needs 21 commander damage. Is that correct? Which means three hits from this guy, which I think is another sort of nice thing. Yeah. You know? Like, they, they worked in the right numbers on him to make him really empower, to make him really impactful. Um, so that is our green cards. From we don't have any more. Yeah. We don't got any more green. Oh. But now we get to embark on the largest section of the set, which oh. is the artifacts. Tomorrow's going to be rough. Woo! Going to be some serious we'll artifacts. Be here for a while. Yep, it's going to be great. See you then.